Hi, I'm Loli, and I'm so glad you are here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use this wood rounds from Dollar Tree in two different ways. The first thing that I did for this first DIY, I removed the tag and painted it with two coats of my Rust-Oleum chalk linen white. And, and I'm going to now use the stencil that I got for Timu. I'm going to place it there to the side and stencil it. The stencil, I'm going to use two different colors. I'm going to use this true black from Polkart. And I'm going to do all the lettering using this color. To keep the stencil in place, I took some masking tape and I'm going to go ahead and tape down my stencil before I begin stenciling. Once I began stenciling, I made sure that my brush wasn't too saturated with paint to avoid any bleeds. And then I'm just bouncing up and down, making sure to get onto all the nooks and crannies so that way I have a nice crisp look when I remove my stencil. This color has nice coverage, so I only gave it one coat. Then I took this metallic gold paint from Folkart, and I'm going to paint the feather, the birds, and the heart using it. I want to invite you this time to go ahead and hit that like button if you're liking what you see so far, or wait a little bit further into the video. And if you like any of the projects here today, make sure that you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That truly helps my channel grow. Thank you so much. Now comes the moment of truth. We're gonna remove the stencil and it came out fairly clean, but I didn't like the gaps that the stencil left behind. So I'm using a very fine paint brush to fill in those areas. I just wanted to look like it is calligraphy and not so much of a stencil. And this is how it's looking like so far once it was done. Look how neat that is. I love it. All right, then I'm going to take this picture frame that I got. I believe I got it at my trip shop. It was for one dollar. I'm going to deconstruct it. And I didn't like how shiny this was. I wanted the shine on the frame to be equal or similar to the paint that I used for the set for the feather and for the bird. So I just sanded it down very nicely. And then I'm going to come and take one of these uh, sticker papers from Dollar Tree. I wasn't sure if the picture that I'm going to add into this was big enough to cover the whole thing. If I didn't, I wanted a paper that was nice and clean and beautiful to be a background for that picture. At the end here, you'll see that I didn't need it, but I was glad that I had it. And if they want to change the picture later on, they can. This is a um, service flyer for one of my friends before their brother's um, memorial. And that is a picture of their mother and their brother, and they're both deceased, so I made this for her. I am concealing the picture here just to give them a little bit of privacy, just in case they're not comfortable with having this on the internet. So I am going to go ahead and add the picture frame right here to the bottom corner of my wood round. And to do that, I'm using some hot glue. I make sure they put a nice generous amount, and I place this on the same level as the wood round, that way it will stand together like this. But in order to truly make it stand, I'm going to use this uh, kickstand from the picture frame that I ripped off earlier. And I'm going to add a generous amount of hot glue to the metal section and place it in the back, hold it there in place until it completely sets. And then I sealed the entire thing with some mud budge. And that is it for this one. Look how cute that is. Let me know what you think. So today's video is part of the Wood Round or Read Wednesday Open Invite collaboration that is hosted monthly by my friend Aurea from DIY with Aurea and myself Loli from Loli Dee's Creations. This happens every fourth Wednesday of the month at 6 p.m. EST. Make sure that you hit the link in the description box so you can enjoy this playlist and show everyone some love. All right, for the next inspiration today, we're going to use, of course, another one of the Wood Rounds. And for this one, I'm removing the tag and the cord and I'm painting it also with two coats of my linen white chalk paint from Rostolium. Then I'm going to take this new uh, wallpaper stickers from Dollar Tree and we are going to add it to this. So I'm using two different papers that I use for a different DIY. I am using two different ones so I'm able to match them. So the first thing that I did was add, remove 
a little bit of the sticker back in from one corner and I added it making sure that everything is straight here I'm going towards the middle a little bit lower than the middle of the wood round and then once I like exactly where I placed it I'm just removing that back in and smoothing everything down to make sure there are no bubbles and that everything is nice and smooth and then I took another piece and I matched it at the corner then once I was happy with the placement I'm going to flip that over I'm going to take my exacto knife and remove all the excess paper And make sure to have nice clean edges and once I was happy with that we are going to go ahead and flip that over. Now I'm going to take this welcome sand that I got from Dollar Tree and a pack of three and I painted it with that navy blue chalk paint. Now I'm going to adhere this beautiful sign onto my sign right here. To add it onto the root round I'm going to add it with a bit of hot glue. Hot glue with metal tends to cool down a lot quicker and it dries pretty fast. So in order to counteract that, once I put my hot glue on there, it was a little bit raised, but I took my heat gun and I'm just going to heat it up and press down with it so everything adheres and that just melts the hot glue once more and make sure that there's a stronger adhesion. Now I'm going to remove any pieces of hot glue that seep through the sides using my Cricut pick. Then I'm going to use these beads that I got from Dollar Tree. These came from Easter time of a pack of those different colors and I'm using the light blue and the ones that are a little bit darker and I'm creating two lighter beads and one darker one and this is the pattern I ended up with. I'm repositioning that onto my wood round and we are not done yet. It looks cute like that but you know already I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm going to take this ribbon that I also got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to do a simple bow doing a crisscross awareness bow. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off as I'm happy with the length. And then I'm going to tie it in the middle with a piece of white thin ribbon. And then I dovetail my ends. That just means that I'm going to fold it as you see there and cut upward to create the silhouette of a dove's tail, if that makes any sense. And that is it for this beautiful bow. I'm just going to go ahead and take some hot glue and place it in the middle. And that is it for this beautiful piece. You let me know what you think about it in the comments. And here we go with the final reveal. Don't forget to let me know which one of these two is your favorite. My friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly. And if you would like to follow me on social media, here are my social media links. And don't forget to visit my friends in the playlist. If you would like to watch some more of my videos, here's a suggestion. And you are more than welcome to binge away with this playlist as well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. You're amazing. Bye.